The rest of the me verbs are a little more complicated, uh, but your basic, the basic uh, structure of them is going to be the same. Uh, now we'll cover each of the sort of three types of, of me verbs in the, in the next uh, three lessons. The first we're going to look at is ditto me, which means to give. Now what you'll notice about this, uh, two things that, uh, well, the main thing you should notice is that this present stem, the present form, is what's called reduplicated. So we have our basic root, do, and it's doubled here, so do. And uh, now, why is this important? It's important because first the perfect is reduplicated, it's reduplicated in a different sense, but the second reason it's most important is that uh, the distinction between the present and imperfect and the aorist is going to be one of the aorist is going to use the simple stem, the do, and the present stem is going to be dido. So right away, if you notice that reduplication, you know that you're dealing with the present tense, or the present stem. And if you've got the simple stem, the do, you know you're dealing with the aorist stem. Now the other complicated thing about this is that it, we're going to have to have uh, that, that these me verbs are uh, going to have particular aorist forms too. But we'll get to those when we get to the aorist. So let's take a look at the present first. Uh, so the active voice in the present stem. Here we have the present. Didomi, didos, didosin. Didomen, didate, didoasin. Now I want you to notice one very important thing. The stem in the singular is long. We're going to use a long omega, right? a long o. But in the plural, it's short. And this is going to be true throughout the me verbs. In the present tense, long in the singular, short in the plural. Long in the singular, short in the plural. Didomi, didos, didosi, didamen, didate, didoasi. And this doesn't contract. All right, let's take a look at the imperfect. Thing to notice, we've got our epsilon augment. We've got our doubled stem, but then we're going to use a different version of that long, uh, the long vowel. So not omega, but un. Remember, this is a perfectly good, uh, also long o sound. So edidun, edidus, edidu. Our endings are just as we'd expect, just like uh, we had in dignomy. Edidamen, short stem. Edidate, edidosan. Same endings as dignomy but now we've got a reduplicated stem. Let's take a look at the middle. In the middle, all short stems. Didomai, didosai, didotai, didomatha, didostha, didomtai. And in the imperfect, we get edidomain, edidoso, edidoto, edidomatha, edidostha, edidomta. So, Let's look back. In the active voice, we're going to have two different stems, a long version and a short version. And that will be for both the present and imperfect. But in the middle, it's only going to be the short stem. And the endings are added right onto that stem. No theme vowel. Remember, these are athematic verbs. Now the imperatives. One that will catch you is the to do. But otherwise, we've got the stem, the short stem, and the endings. Didoto, didote, didonton, and in the imperfect, uh, uh, rather in the, in the middle, in passive, remember these are present, we've got didoso, didoste, uh, didosto, didoste, didoston. So we're going to use our short stems. So the only time we're going to see that long stem is going to be in the active uh, in the active voice. And that's only going to be in the singular. Singular, long stem, active. All the rest, short stems. And by short stems, I mean an omicron, not omega or omega or omicron upsilon. Infinitives and participles, short stem again, nigh, just like we had with date nu nigh, and sthi. 
And then in the participles, got here, deduce, deduce, didon. So this is a long version, but then we go back to our stem, didontos. Deduces, didontos. And in the middle and passive, we get our stem, dido, with the men and the ending. So didominos, didomene, didominon. Now I mentioned that the aorist is also uh, slightly different, but the first thing to notice about the aorist is that it uses the simple stem. So just do, not dido, but do. And then, because it's the aorist, we've got an epsilon augment, long stem, and then ka, edoka, edokas, edoke. Notice these are just our normal uh, erist endings here. Edomen, edate, edosan. So slightly different endings in the plural. Edoka, edokas, edoke, edomen, edote, edosan. So again, we've got our long, singular, short, plural. By that I mean omega or omicron, and slightly different endings. But in the middle, which we have below here, we've got always our short stem and our regular endings. So, edomen, edu. Uh, here we actually do contract. The intervocalic sigma drops out. Why? I don't know. It just does. Edoto, edomatha, edoste, edonto. Still athematic. We're still adding the endings just onto the stem. We're using that short simple stem, that simplex stem, not the reduplicated stem. In the imperatives, but again, the second person singular is a little odd, dos, but otherwise they're exactly what you'd expect. Our simple stem plus our endings, doto, dote, donton, and in the middle, erist, We've still got our simple stem right here. Do, dos though, dos the, dos though. So the endings are consistent onto that simple stem, no theme vowel. Infinitives and participles, we get a little bit of a contraction here. So do nai, dos thy. And then in our participles, dus, dusa, dom. What's the difference between this and the present, sen, uh, present tense? The present tense will be reduplicated. And then dontos, the simple stem, is the arrows. And in the middle, we get our short stem, men, plus os. Dominos, mene, dominon. Menu, dominates, and so on. So, Remember to keep that in mind, that that reduplicated stem will be one of our present tenses. The simple stem is going to be an aorist tense. And the nice thing is, there aren't that many me verbs. Ditto me shows up in a number of different compounds, but they're all going to be conjugated the same way. Now, is this it? Yes, this is it. Uh, as the present and imperfect, forms are goofy. They follow these rules. The aorist follows these rules. But the future is normal. That is, it's thematic. The perfect and pluperfect are normal. And the aorist passive and future passive are normal. Now we're going to move on to another type of verb, tithemi, which looks just like this, but instead of an omega, it's going to be having eta. But the rules are going to be very, very similar.